Hello, I'm back. It's 3.10 p.m. <clears throat> I'm, someone help me with the hotel room. That's one thing I do. First thing I do is kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, clean. And, you know, extra clean and sanitize certain parts of the room. And then I take a shower before I even get in the bed. And um, <clears throat> as of now, I feel sleepy and tired. Last night, I didn't get to sleep that well. So um, so I'm gonna make myself do this video anyway. So um, I'm thankful and glad that I've had some money for food last night, and. A shower today in the hotel room. So n nothing seems promising as of now. <clears throat> nothing seems promising as of now. So um, <clears throat> excuse me. So um, I had another job interview today, and. Excuse me, I'm supposed to hear back on Monday. Excuse me. <gasps> Maybe hear back on Monday. But um I I don't know if one of the other jobs I can't go into detail or say what. But it's an independent contractor job and they were supposed to have contacted me by eleven thirty today but I heard nothing <clears throat> so um I don't know <clears throat> so I've been trying to go to job interviews fill out applications running around doing this doing that trying to improve and better myself and you know I mean, from the job from this past Friday that I applied to, he said he had some more applications to go through, but I forgot what day he said he was, I mean, some job, you don't hear anything, you never hear anything back. <clears throat> so, um, I hate when you have a job that you're applying for, excuse me. And they ask for references. I don't have any personal references. Don't have any family. Oh, an emergency contact. Well, I don't, the idea of not being able to trust any family members. I don't have any. Because they would do stuff like, I mean, if, if it was previous employers or. I don't have anybody that's a close friend now that can vouch for me as a personal reference. Not one family member will speak well of me. None of my, my family wouldn't speak well of me. And basically, I've been away from them far along, even including my twin sister. I've been away from family long enough that they might as well be a stranger and have to relearn me all over again. Because I'm still the same person, but certain things about me have changed over the years. I mean, I'm not the same. I, my way of thinking and believing of things it's not the same from when I was 21 years old. So within exactly two weeks, me and my twin sister, we're going to be 39 years old on August 25th. <clears throat> so, um, I was hoping I'd get to have secured a job opportunity at least by then. And I, I will work on my birthday if I, if I had a job opportunity, you know. Um, but last year, it was exactly a week before our 38th birthday when I quit that Seville Quarter job because of what was going on and stuff. 
and the online perps falsely accused me of quitting my job because of a Quora comment, which had nothing, their comment had nothing to do with why I quit the job. So I'm not going to go into detail explaining again why I quit YMCA, but they just want to take brownie points of credit for stuff, you know. I, they, I don't know where they get their outrageous false rumors. That's why, like, they're lying on me on purpose. And everybody defends and agrees with and believes them. So, um, it was 2020, due to the you-know-what, I didn't get to get successful at any job at all, <clears throat> you know, and then, um, 2019, it was two days after me and my twin sister's birthday that they set me up and lied on me and got me wrongfully fired and banned from the fake work, dirty YMCA downtown. So if I could still take showers downtown at the YMCA, you know, I could have been over there hanging out or chilling or whatever after a shower or maybe swimming or um something else but they mobbed me out of there and they kept they would harass and harass and harass me and secretly stalk everything i do and just go behind my back and the workers there would say sometimes harass me too <clears throat> and so um they bullied me out of there and I mean that's the second time somebody has set me up and lied on me well I'll go ahead and say it that Corey person it's like how the hell would a man know exactly what I'm doing in the bathroom how would a man know what I'm doing in the, in the bathroom if it's one of the family the private family bathrooms how would they know what I'm doing in there that made me feel uncomfortable. Like, is, and, and then a man, too? Did they have secret hidden cameras? And I heard that that's against the law and illegal. So, <clears throat> I mean, um, so, the guy, Corey, that works there, he's a narcissistic abuser and exploits the disabled people who do the maintenance janitorial work for, under him. He's the boss, and I wonder how the hell they hired him, because they're damn corrupt down there. So, he was the I was trying to get my job back at the YMCA, and he, he told me that they had more hours and more, um, Cause Corey, he was the one who bragged when he was the one who bragged about all the people he fired when I, the first day I met him. Bragging about all the people you fired, you a narcissistic abuser. <clears throat> and then he would be brutal and cru like brutal and cruel towards the um the disabled workers there, you know. <clears throat> So I'm glad I didn't work underneath him, but he made it like he was doing me a favor by He was the one who suggested that I work at the Seville Quarter And so since he did with me what he did to me at the YMCA I quit Seville Quarter too and I was about to quit anyway because a few days before that like on that Friday or Saturday the 13th or 14th I had enough of Travis being rude to me at the Seville Quarter and then they were cheat. They were doing dirty stuff with my food at for, at lunchtime. I'm not gonna mention again what they were doing with my food. <clears throat> and so um, they were perps. Like everybody was at Seville Quarter was a perp, except me. So um, they were trying to run me out of there too, but I fought hard 
all summer long as much as I could to stick with it. So if I didn't have the YMCA to go take showers at, how was I going to maintain my job smelling bad? And then they had just banned me, wrongfully banned me. And set, that was a setup that they ran me off from 532 West Garden Street. And I couldn't, I showed y'all the other day that I can't sleep over there anymore. And I could have had shelter overhead over there to protect me from getting wet in the rain and stuff. And then just go to the YMCA and go take a shower. And, I, and there would be not much need for a hotel until or unless there was like a hurricane or a tornado or some you know life threatening weather <clears throat> so um i feel like the way they everybody sabotage me and stuff and then people be jealous like well how do you get help with a hotel room or uh, well look, look how else i'm freaking sabotage if i'm getting banned from all these doggone restaurants and then if somebody paid for my food, like, oh, how you got somebody to pay for your food? Don't you think it's freaking well deserved? <clears throat> After I unjustly had this happen to me, that happened to me, and people just trying to run me away from everything. So, um... <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, but I'm still, I mean, I said I didn't want to be employed anymore, but I picked myself back up and trying to give it another chance, but I mean, I'm getting harassing comments on my blog and YouTube, and some somebody a perp kept on putting thumbs down emojis on all of my blog, but it was a perp. And then he docks me and said, um, you, you know, hunting the hunted or something. And um, I think I put it in the YouTube community post of what he did, what, what he did. So um, yesterday, I mean, last night I was talking to another target. And um, he seems like he's legitimately a target you know, legitimate T.I. And me and him were talking on the phone and I said I wanted to give up on talking to anybody no more. But, um, but, so me and him were talking on the phone and a young white kid, not child, but when I say young kid, somebody like 18, 19, 20, 21 years old, you know, and he, the, he crossed, this young white boy crossed the street and then started taking, t snapping a whole bunch of pictures of me in front, like as a way of bullying me. You know, and um, then somebody said, well, um, somebody docks me about the homeless spot, the, lo the address of the homeless location spot of where I had been sleeping at. So if anything happened to me, um, y'all got blood on y'all hands. And they really are out here targeting and trafficking us and trying to kill us and stuff. Like, so, um, against, we're being human trafficked against our, cause you know, against our consent. Well, today I went to a job, it's like a job application and interview, and then they had fleas attacking me so bad they had a cat up in there, but they swear that the cat had, um, the, the cat got flea shots or something, and they was, the lady was telling me that the, that the Please come from outside from stray cats. <clears throat> so as much as I love cats, it seems like they get give you fleas more than dogs. 
But uh, that's the thing I hate about cats. But I love cats, though. But I hate the fleas. But I, I, I only like small dogs. I don't like big dogs. Unless they're peaceful kind of dogs. Like, um... I forgot, what do you call that? The big, the big giant kind of poodle. Like it might be poodle mix or something. And, um, you know, certain, the peaceful kind of big dogs, I guess I'm okay, but I don't like stuff, dogs like Rottweilers and pit bulls and, and I don't, I don't even, a lot of dogs, I just don't like dogs. I don't like big dogs. I don't like dogs. Maybe small little dogs, but I, I'm not, I don't really like dogs. <clears throat> but I love cats. But cats don't like me. A few years ago, I was in, living in Greenville, South Carolina. And I think it was, yeah, 2016, not 17. And I think it was around September. And I pet the cat out the pet the cat was all friendly and i'm like well this is about the doggone friendliest cat in the world <laughs> i pet the cat then did not realize i ended up having fleas i could not get rid of and so i felt scammed by that doggone fake friendly cat the cat pretended to be extra fake friendly just to give me doggone fleas. <clears throat> you know? So, um, well, what other animals I like? Well, I'll tell you what animals I don't like. I don't like snakes. Well, I hate snakes and dogs. Um, of course, self-explanatory. I don't really like animals that harm. I don't like animals that can harm you, you know. But peaceful animals I like. But I get scared of possums. They're ugly, but I don't really hate possums like I hate. I have this specific kind of hatred towards snakes and dogs. Big dogs, but little dogs, I like them the same way I like cats. But I don't like huge cats either. I like normal or small cats. <clears throat> and I like tabby cats. I like an orange tabby cat with green eyes or something. Or, um, but it's like, um, but I like normal size or smaller cats. I don't like big cats. Smart Siamese cats are kind of ugly. <clears throat> but um, certain cats are ugly. But certain cats are so cute. Certain puppies are so cute. But then once they become a dog, they don't be cute no more. <laughs> <clears throat> but... I went off on a whole dog on talk about cats and dogs. I wonder why sometimes people compare cats and dogs to like boys and girls. Like they'll make it like dogs are like guys and cats are like females. So. Yeah. I'm hoping that I can get to sleep tonight. So yesterday, I went to apply for another job. Well, I didn't put in an application yet because I'm trying to see where I'm, where things are going to go with these other possible jobs. But <clears throat> um, the lady asked me why, since I have a bachelor's degree, she said, why do you want to go to be a teacher? I said, well, my GPA ain't high enough, I don't think. But, um, I don't know. I can't work in a school system. You know, um, like, as far as being a teacher and stuff. 
or a bus driver or something like that. I don't I feel traumatized by the false slander campaigns about me. So I'm um be kind of scared and you know but working at the schools last year it's a fact that some of the students were perping me and that would be <clears throat> before I start work but then they get out of school and then after some time we end up having to go and um really do the thorough cleaning of the bathrooms and stuff, you know. But some of the teachers were perps, too. <clears throat> like, <clears throat> especially at the middle school, some of the teachers were perps. But um, I'm kind of scared and don't trust going into this. Because what if I get falsely accused of something and end up, having like some big you know punishment because of false accusations or misunderstandings or something like that or I can get in trouble for this or if I'm sleep deprived then I can get severe punishment for negligence with this or that or whatever and that's why I kind of feel scared to even be a caregiver because somebody that's narcissistic and a perp might lie on me and falsely accuse me or doing this or that, that can get me in serious trouble. So, you know, that's why I'm afraid to even go into those, you know. <clears throat> I'd, be, I'd be so afraid if I go be a caregiver and somebody might falsely accuse me of stealing something or if they might falsely accuse me of injuring somebody, I mean, injuring the patient or whatever. Or falsely accuse me of being abusive. When in fact there might be the parent being a narcissistic abuser who just lying on me, you know, because of the gang stalking program or whatever, and trying to really trying to do me in and set me up to be locked up and put away. So I'll be, I mean, I'll be scared. <clears throat> so um. So it's like, how come it's okay for the, um, the online gang stalkers to dox me, but I'm not allowed to expose the truth about what they do? So, I mean, my mind is kind of scrambled all over the place and jumbled all over the place. As I said, I really don't even want a job or be employed. I would rather be entrepreneurial and self-employed. I would rather be entrepreneurial and self-employed and work for myself. That's what I wish I could do. I wonder how people get to do that. If they can run their own business. You know. So, um. I'm not going to go the whole 20, almost 27 minutes. I'm about to, um, take a nap. And I don't care how late it is. Some people try to say, don't take a nap until, I mean, don't take a nap after 2 p.m. or something. But I don't care. I'm tired. It's now uh, 3.34 p.m. And thanks for help with the hotel room. And, well, I guess I might as well go for a little longer. I wanted to say that um yesterday when I, went to apply for one of those jobs somebody gave me a can of soup and some well she she let me pick out you know a few items and i got a can of soup and some jello that might be for dinner i don't know so i'm just so tired right now i can't think properly and i'm trying to better myself but people are trying out here trying to ruin and destroy me